Marcia Ligarius led the fanatical church executioners to Kanehurst to destroy the vile bloods who ruled that place. While there, he discovered a terrible secret, however, and installed himself on a throne with a crown of illusions on his head to guard that secret forever. Design-wise, he's a familiar Souls character, the Withered Hollow King, and like Gwyn and Vendrick, he's really a king of nothing. For all his fine robes and jewelry and crown, he's more of a pitiable figure than an imposing patriarch. And of course, his story is a story of failure. For all the violence that he inflicted on the Vilebloods, he could not destroy them, and so it's tempting to read the crown of illusions in that context. He's maintaining not only the illusion that imprisons the Vileblood Queen, but also the illusion of the Healing Church's power and righteousness. Because of course, the real truth is that the blood of the Healing Church is every bit as corrupt is that of the vile bloods, and I can't help but wonder if maybe that's what Logarius wanted to stop people finding out. Because one thing I can't help but notice is that in a game whose entire aesthetic is defined by the sticky wetness of blood, he's the only character who manages to look truly bloodless and dry. Subscribe here for shorts to see my detailed analysis of this character over on my main channel.